Hey, so today is day 11 of my 30 days of react challenge and today I have created a very simple weather app um, using an API. So let's have a look. Okay, so a quick demo. Here we are. You input your city. Let's do Miami and the country. Click get weather and it displays um, the weather information below. Temperature, humidity and the condition. Okay, so let's look at the code. First of all, um, over here in state, we can see that we start off with empty variables because we need to fetch that data from the API. So we start with those all as undefined. And next, let's scroll down to our return block. Um, we've got our header, we've got components, we've got three being rendered here, titles, which is just this title, um, the form, as well as the weather. Um, cool, so I think the most interesting of all of these components, I mean, well, is probably form. So let's jump over and have a look at it. Um, what we've got is on submit, we, it passes the props load weather, which is a reference to an event handler we'll look at at a moment, which actually does our API call. Um, and then we've got a few inputs with placeholders, and we've got a button, um, which is, yeah, just to get the weather, which you click when you want to make. Um, your call. Okay, so the most interesting thing in this app really is that API call and how we're connecting um, with it. I've used Open Weather API, by the way. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, this event Get Weather is uh, triggered when you click Get Weather when you have your kind of city and country filled out. So how does it work? Um, well, first of all, we need to prevent default because it's a form and we don't want the whole. Um, form to reload, which is the default behavior. We've also got an API key here um, as a variable, which you get by signing up for the API through their website. So if you wanted to do the same, you just need to go to Open Weather API and uh, make your own key, and that allows you to make those API calls. I and mean, then what we're doing here is um, creating a new va um, variables called city and country, which which we target to these two um, values that the user types in here. So we pick up the city and the country and yeah, so they've been assigned names. And then we've got our API call here. And if you can see, this is what do we, the API call for um, open weather map um, looks like, but we actually input the city and the country variables that we've pulled from this input um, so that the the API knows exactly what data it is that we want to pull back. So it says, you know, we want whether in this city, this country. I've also added um, metric units, and then it gives the API key so that it knows who it is that's requesting that data, which is me. Um, what we do is once we get the response from the API, we convert that into a JSON, a JSON file. Um, and let's just quickly inspect, and we can actually look at that response. We look at this object here, and it's giving us like all the different things that we, so there's like a lot more that we can actually access from this API than these four elements. They're just the four that I've chosen. You know, there's like, I don't know, country, minimum temperature, top temperature, blah, 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 blah. Um, cool, so once we have this kind of object, we can then actually access those elements. So what we do is we set our state to equal, um, the data that we want to access, and then that then saves it into state. Okay, cool. So now that um, state actually has values because we've done that API call, we can jump over to weather. Um, and if we have a look down here at weather, here I'm checking to see whether we've made the API call to see whether weather is undefined. If it's undefined, it means that we've just loaded the app and there's no data there yet. But you can see we're passing all of those um, state values through, which we're then using to render weather below. Yeah, so let's do one more. Um, let's do um, Auckland, New Zealand, get weather, and we can see it updates there. Cool, so that's that. Thanks for watching. Bye.